Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit different. Today is actually the first day I have my voice back and this is the day I'm trying to film this video and I'm really sick guys, I'm not going to lie. And I'm trying my best to kick this thing off but it just... Ugh, right, maybe so. Today I want to film kind of laid back video where I do not need to speak a lot because I still feel weak AF to be honest and all I want to do is take a nap but I need to work and right now is my lunch break so in this lunch break I want to take what is left out of my voice and talk with you guys and share some updates on my terrariums and also I just received an order for a houseplant pot so for those who don't know I actually sometimes paint pots custom pots that you guys like to buy from me here you can see some examples of those you know medusa butterflies and stuff like that i love to play around with my pots and just draw something fun on them and sometimes it happens that you like them as well and ask me to paint one for you and in this occasion this is actually so fun because one lady wants to order a pot for her mom and she says that her mom is the biggest fan of me and Rocky and this just warms my heart so so much when I read all of her messages talking how much she loves my videos I was freaking out you know <laughs> so I am painting a pot for you and probably you have no idea about it so first off let's talk about terrariums and then I will proceed into the pot and what design we will paint together and all of that stuff anyway so I actually wanted to talk about terrariums I own and I planted both of my terrariums about a month ago maybe a little bit more and some of you were actually pretty worried because I used beach sand in the very bottom of that terrarium and you said that because some of you said that because of the salt in this sand my terrariums won't survive but I have a pretty nice update so haha -ha. <laughs> okay so I want to start with this small teeny tiny terrarium I actually thought I had more but I was going through my collection and you know what, my eyes are in the best right now and all I can find right now are only two terrariums but the second guys, you just need to wait for it I actually shared this update on my Instagram and a lot of you were freaking out so I cannot wait to share it on this channel, you know? but anyway so this is terrarium number one that I just planted in the simple Jack Daniels bottle that I received from Agnes parents years ago and it was just standing here empty so I thought to give it a little life you know and what I did I put a little layer of beach sand at the very bottom then I added some cactus mix and some uh, moss that I could find in outside on trees on rocks and stuff like that you know so everything came pretty much for free so I was really excited to work on that and I can see some new growth so if you look close enough this is one tiny growth point that is growing so it's almost like a bloom of a moss I would say I need to do more research but as for now I think that's exactly what there is and I keep this bottle closed all of the time and it's thriving guys it's, it's growing new growth oh I actually can see another one new point so here is another legend breaker for you guys oh wow, okay yeah I really need to slow down a little bit I'm sorry I keep on complaining on this channel this is really not what I intend to do but you know life recently is really difficult and at first it was difficult only mentally and right now oh my gosh as if oh oh and right now it feels like oh you did not have enough challenges here you the most ugly cold you could ever get <laughs> anyway right now i want to talk about this terrarium guys and this one is insane do you remember i keep on talking i keep on talking about this crazy euphorbia loconera that keeps on shooting seeds everywhere around me here is one of example right so i have this simple jar with propagations of philodendron subastatum and look at it here is a teeny seedling of euphorbia that just shot from the plant straight into this glass and started to grow there right well well i had opened this jar you know to give it some air and you know have some 
air floating around inside of it. Couple seats actually shoot inside of that jar. Look at it. Oh my gosh, okay, I'll try to somehow look at it. So one seat actually somehow managed to fall straight into the hole of this crystal. This is a crystal uh, from my necklace. This is a skull shaped crystal, right? And it has a hole like an earlobe. And it, it was supposed to be on a necklace, right? But right now in this ear hole, right, is growing this euphorbia. So as you can tell, there are two euphorbias, one, one that I planted on purpose. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see it. This one, this one I planted on purpose, right? This one started to grow on her own and it looks so much cooler. I'm so tired already, oh my gosh. So this is another, oh my gosh. Somebody flew out of this. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Am I going to die? <laughs> Fun fact, I am kind of afraid of some bugs. Not all of them, obviously. I mean, my channel is called Firefly. <laughs> but I really am afraid of some, for example, crickets. I am really afraid of crickets. There is a full story about it. But anyway, oh my gosh. <sighs> well, I hope I will survive. <laughs> Anyway, so this is once again, this was planted the same way. So beach sand, cactus mix, and moss I could find outside. And as you can tell, it surprised me with the coolest looking composition ever. I would never even think about it. I would never even plant something like that. And even I saw this, I actually gasped because I was like, whoa, how did that happen? It looks like a piece from some kind of spooky fairy tale, you know, when there is that body coming back to the earth, you know, and just, you know, all of that spooky stuff. So I am really not sure how to feel about it, but I am really astonished by the nature and how it can find a way even through tiniest holes like this in a simple crystal. So crazy. <laughs> crazy guys all right guys right now i need to take a little break because i feel that my voice is going somewhere else again so i'll see you a little bit later when we will talk about the pot order so actually i can show you a little sneak peek so i will be painting another firefly in the room um design <laughs> sounds so fancy <laughs> but yeah I, I already started as you can tell I have all the letters going on right now I'm still working on the firefly in here and I also need to think where I need to put the name because the daughter of the fan of asked me to put the name somewhere and I think maybe to add it over here just on top not sure yet so I will see you a little bit later right now I need to go and make some tea probably so See you later.
Okay, everyone. I think this will be a pretty short video with lots of time lapses because I just really could not speak a lot. And after filming this first portion of the video, once again, I lost my voice for about three hours. <laughs> And it's afternoon right now, and this is when I finished my pot. I almost finished it. Actually, I still need to put the name of the person who will receive it, but I still did not receive a green light from the daughter of this lady. To say it out loud, maybe she will want to keep it as a surprise, or maybe she will want to give a little hint, so I'm still waiting for her answer on the Instagram. So as for now, this is a pot without a name of a person who will receive it, but this is almost kind of final view of it. So what I'm gonna do, actual two things I left to do. First off, I wanted to erase all of the pencil that is left and invisible, but I want to do it tomorrow because today not all of the wet are completely dry, so I can ruin this whole pot just by doing a little bit of a scratch or something so i want to give it a full day of drying and it's actually such a difficult picture to draw because there are so many fine lines and i just cannot you know like with the pencil erase my mistake so everything should be perfect from the first time i draw it so it was actually kind of stressful while, while painting but also every single time whenever I am painting I'm trying to put as much of positive energy into the drawing and you know into my art as possible so I think I did a pretty good job let me know what I think about it in the comments and the last things that are left to do actually is to pack it beautifully add my card and a little tiny surprise that I add every single time when I send these pots and let me know if you want to see how it all looks like but for now this will be it for today's video guys i actually thought i will film a little bit more of plenty updates for you to insert into this footage but let's let's just have a short one this time okay and actually this weekend i have really exciting appointment and i don't want to go into details but i cannot wait to film that log for you guys because i think it will be so emotional and i think it will be fun so this is it for this video, a little update on my terrariums and a little sneak peek into my artsy day. So it actually took me about six hours to paint it in the hall. And that's that's a lot of time to be honest. <laughs> but I love it. I love this process. If I could, I would be painting these pots every single day. But anyway, so yeah, if you want to order one for and I will draw one for you as well. <laughs> okay. So before leaving you, let me teach you another language lesson. And since today I have a very nice cold, let me teach you how to say cold or a flu in Lithuanian and in Russian. Just why not, you know? <laughs> so if you want to say cold in Lithuanian, you need to say peršalimas. Once again, peršalimas. And if you want to say cold in Russian, you need to say Prastuda. Oh my gosh, you brain fart. <laughs> Once again, prastuda. And this is it, guys. I'm sorry, my eyes are watering. I think I have a little bit of temperature or something. So I won't take any more of your time. Please let me know what you think about today's video. Let's chat in the comments. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And I promise my future videos will be a little bit more fun than today ones. But I tried. I really tried. <laughs> Thank you. And until the next time. Bye.